Welcome back to Inside the NBA Players Only, presented by Kia. Now remember, this Thursday at 7 p.m., EJ and the gang will release the All-Star Reserves on TNT. That's 14 guys waiting to hear their names called. Now, one week later, make sure you check out the first ever televised All-Star Draft on Thursday, February 7th at 7 p.m. on TNT. Team's captains, LeBron James and the Greek Freak, will pick their squads with Ernie Johnson overseeing things. Can't wait for that. That should be... That should be fun. Now check it out, Area 21 is back. It's sponsored by Metro by T-Mobile. Kevin Garnett worked with Memphis Grizzlies big man, Jaron Jackson Jr. last summer before the rookie was drafted. On MLK Day, KG checked in on his pupil during the Grizzlies home game against the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, the next day, the two were back in the classroom as you'll see in this newest installment of Area 21. Area 21, we in Memphis doing our thing. You know what it is. Catching my young boy, Jared Jack. Jack here, what's up with you, boy? How you doing? Put this down. Last thing to come up was your head. He banged him, he banged him, he went, and he, and he went to go shoot, and the last thing to come up was his head. They're going to him, look. Jackson! Oh, Be aggressive, young fella. Be aggressive. Jerry got a lot of good intent, a lot of good things that you can't teach him about again. When you're watching them, are you critiquing them when you watch the game? No, I'm enjoying it. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I leave the critique to my husband. Ah, OK. The first thing I've seen from his first game to probably his fifth game, he's already been able to make the proper adjustments. He's already making the rotations. Going to the game, watching Jay for the first time was dope. I wanted to see the things that we worked out in the summer. I wanted to see them being translated on the floor. There's Jaron Jackson Jr. off the window. So you're going to be working with him tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're going to do something at the practice. I want to work on what he's going to work on within their offense. Things that you can't really teach that you just got to feel as a player, he has a lot on. Love how you initiated right here. You know what I'm saying? Always got to finish like that. The purpose of me taking him into the film room was to not only show some of the things I wanted to implement into uh, the workout, but I wanted to see, see how he responded to the small critiques. After 10, 15 games, the whole league knows your game, so you have to continue to ask up to your game. So you saw stop. I want you to watch how he's playing. He's not giving you no space, right? Perfect time to get him a pump fade. Whenever you play a guy who's really eager on you, you know when he's eager. When I go back to shit, he's going to fly. That's the kind of stimulation you got to have when good defenders play you. I love your spirit, man. You're still playing with that, that youthful spirit. Do not lose that. That is your superpower. That's what got you here. If you're looking around for the leader and you don't see him, guess who it is? You gotta do it. And, that, and that's a tough place to be when you're a rookie, but being positive, you can always be positive, you can always help a guy, you can always give some energy. We just had that. Just we, I just put him in my office and we had that talk. Same conversation. Yeah. Let's head to the court and uh, work on some of this, man. All yep, right. let's do it. Let your hand be the first thing, come up. There you go, nice, Jay. Baseline. Other side. Nice. Baseline. Nice. On defense, to alleviate uh, someone's momentum, meet them early. The best bigs, they don't like that. No, not at all. Not at all. And I'm not saying be overly aggressive. I'm just saying just come up and meet them and ride them No, you don't. Be consistent with it, too. The more you do something, the more the rest will let you or give you a little more leeway. He has a work ethic that is a throwback that I'm very appreciative of and I love working with. Respects to Mark and uh, Mike. He is the future. I look forward to him becoming the leader of Memphis. He has a lot more to conquer, and I'm looking forward to being part of that. You know that. Oh, wow. <laughs>
I said, Candy, so you they put me up to it. They they slipped. We, cool. we were real cool, but they put me up we to cool. it, and I had this hand. So you this down hand. there by Baron, and you know, this, he got jokes. This, I can't turn it. Okay, I'm turn on, it off. Man. <laughs> you draw with a turtleneck, man. I'm neck sweating, but you can't see it on TV. <laughs> it's just because it's hot, man. Just make fun of me. Uh. <laughs> 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 I got that man packed back in the oh, locker room, man. too. That's how oh, I come man. to the game, baby. I like it, man. You know? I like look it, good, too. Bro. I you do it's like very it. Steve Jobs of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chris Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I like the title now. I'm, yeah. never, I'm not I like on the title now. But back to what we were talking about. Yeah, come about. on. Get us back to back it. Back okay. to Area 21. Uh, uh, you know, Jaron Jackson Jr.'s mom is the head of our WMBPA. So I know Terry Jackson very well. She represents the players, and it's nice to see that her son is dominating his rookie season. Yeah, and when you think about someone like that that has a law degree that can help uh, you guys union or a foundation, at the same time, she's a mother to an NBA player, and also she was the wife of an NBA player. Jaron, I played with him uh, in Washington. He didn't pass the ball like his son does, though, because he could shoot the thing. But uh, <laughs> no, so it's all a basketball family. And I can't concentrate because Baron keeps looking at my sweater, and I keep looking no, I at his Mr. Waiting, Rogers. I was waiting up. for you to throw something to me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't throwing nothing to you. I ain't got nothing to say. Anything TK you tells me to talk to you about that, you're you out the gotta show. You got to turn your chin. No passing the rock. Oh, yeah, like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> so the last, so this is the last so second. I'm saying, though, <laughs> I think Jared Jackson Jr. is going to be really good uh, when you look at, you know, his work ethic, um, when you look at, at his skill, and playing alongside somebody like Marc Gasol, it's going to allow him to grow as a player. So Kevin Garnett, I like this new Area 21, by the way, like him visiting people, kind of, uh, you know, get, getting in the weeds with some of the players, you know, uh, getting them to... Get their head above water. <laughs> when I look at that, <laughs> when I look oh, at I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> no, no. When I look at this clip, I'm, I'm, I'm always anxious to see, like, when guys work with, with with older players. Who initiated the contract? I mean, the contact. Because I just asked you, who'd you work with? You said nobody. I never work with anybody. I would I'd like to have worked with Kevin McHale. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to work with Kevin McHale and. Uh, uh, Akeem Olajuwon, but I I never called him asked him. But it, it's good to see guys like Akeem and Kevin Garnett work with the young system. You know, it's a great thing. And I really like the young fella game. He plays a lot of energy, a lot of spirit, plays way better than his father did. And it's just a great thing. Yeah, Memphis is going to need him. So hopefully he's listening to what KG says. And hopefully he has some good people around him that don't make fun of him when he wears a turtleneck to practice or to the game. All right. It's all love. We all, all know love. BD has questions. He's questionable. Oh, he has many questions. I didn't read that right. He's questionable. <laughs> so we have a little something we call inside the restricted zone. Now, where BD, where he can get answers. Tonight they come from Gerald Green of the Houston Rockets. So people think the best way to start a day is with a balanced breakfast. How do you start your day? It's all about my shoes, really. Shoes and how my socks feel. Okay, okay. It's kind of weird, but that's how it is. <laughs> what do you think about these? Man, I want it so bad. Like, I want it bad. You're this passionate about these socks, huh? There's, there's things that I want in life, and that's just, like, something I, like, I, I, I have to get. What about fanny packs? Mm. How do you feel about... Like the socks and the fanny pack combination. The socks and the panties. I ain't really wearing all the man packs and the man purses. I uh, see so you're not like a, a fanny packer. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave them little bags to my girls. But you love these socks, right? Or what would people say if you wore these in the playoffs? Swag champ. To the fullest. To the fullest, right? To the fullest. He'd be swag champ if he wear those. He better not wear those socks. <laughs> he, hey man, he wanted the socks. Those are like the, the socks little he girls wear like the Easter about socks. Footies. Like socks, man. <laughs> little footies. <laughs> <laughs> some footies. <laughs> footies in a man pack. Socks is the new accessory, man. That's the new accessory in the NBA. Oh my God, there it is. That's Baron Davis right there, a little fresher than a sweater party. A little fresher. That's, my, that's gonna be my whole get down. This the, the whole way out. A yellow sweater. You I a dare you wear a yellow sweater. Oh, I'm definitely coming with the yellow sweater. Oh, there we go. You heard next it next week. week. Uh, next UCLA week. emblem on it. 
No. Oh, no? Go ahead, you, you, know, you might want to put that power T <laughs> on that <laughs> sweater, <laughs> Shaq. We come back. That power T on that, number one. And a question VD has to answer. Let <laughs> hurry up and throw it before he starts with these more jokes and more jokes. Jack says he can see the moon, but he can't see California. So is the moon closer? Do you agree? VD, I think that question was from you from my own 3D. That's a good and question. And again, it was Shaq can see the moon. But I can't see California from my backyard. So, so is closer? it closer? Uh, California is closer. OK. How come it, I can't it, see it then? Huh? That's OK. How come I can't see it then? Uh, because it's flat. <laughs> Wait, the Earth is flat? No, because the circumference of the Earth is flat. But is so you it cannot flat? see over, you can't see. BD. You're not high enough to see over the horizon. But is the but is the Earth flat or round? Are you like? Uh, it's a combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> so from space is round, right? And then when you're on Earth, it's flat. That's what I say. Because when I drive my bus from Florida to California. <laughs> I, I go like that. I don't go like that. I'm just saying. How long when I fly from here to China, I fly like this. I don't fly like that. Yeah. So I'm just saying, when I look up, the moon be looking at me, and I'll be looking at the moon. How long do you think it's going to take the drive to, to get to the moon? Take about 24 drive? hours from California. How far you think it's drive to the moon? I, I don't know. I mean, you can see it. You, uh, I'm not a... Uh, what it look like? <laughs> it look pretty to me. I got one of them big old... I got one of them big old Telescopes that I got on Amazon. I'm just saying. Oh, Me and you, yeah, BD, man. you want to go to the moon? Yeah. I just want to know what what is up next. Get it next. <laughs> <laughs> hey TK, I wish you had a picture of my man on the internet with the big and little neck, man. <laughs> with, with Shaq face on the dude. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> anyway, we had enough jokes about turtlenecks today. Hey Candace, you my girl, cause you really nah. Oh you really? Too. That's I what we're doing. Know. Okay. No, I like you, Candace. You make it. Listen to Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. No, Lucius. It wasn't me, it was Barrett. Barrett said, hold on, Barrett said it's a combination. Yeah, Lucius, we need you to hey, keep Lucius. on tweeting, help us out. Lucius I'm just going to see y'all next yard. Tuesday. Players yeah. only. Let me try to get my girl Candace to I'm be my you, partner. She dog you drive, me. I like you drive like this, though. Like when you go like, like, oh, oh, you. Play me with the. Okay.